are we able to use cardboard to create reverse canvas what if you don't have canvas and I thought absolutely let's try it out so from the better cardboard kind of I fussy cut this lovely uh, I think it looks like it's a, a it's a square I wish to think that and from the other kind of not so good but much easier to cut a cardboard I decided to cut out some of these side walls now the thing is that I don't measure it <laughs> to be honest because I figured it's okay however it's going to be it's going to be just fine so I'm thinking to create this shadowy box uh, mm, shadowy box there we go, shadowy box, cardboardy box thingy and I hope to cut it all like that oh I love it and maybe possibly create even extra uh, walls to make it even thicker and my plan as well I would love for it to be autumn and to use our, where is that? I'm gonna show you and to use our collage book the recent uh, autumn stories I love autumn and sometimes not sometimes but every year I think I'm pretty sure every year somehow I have one or two autumn project and the canvas version and I would love that but again what if we don't have canvas are we able to recreate stuff without having the exact product and I think yes and also I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prime it glue it down so as you can tell I'm not measuring anything like I really wish it to not um, focus your energy not being stressed over the fact that you don't have what it what I have like oh my cardboard is not long enough that's okay hi hi Hannah um, can I just tell you a question Ooh. that for your fairies um, you could do pick fairies picking mushrooms or flowers oh that's a very nice idea Hanya I will most definitely use that idea thank you you mean did okay. you see this this one is look this one has some pumpkin I think there is some with the mushroom that has a ladybird that has which one is this one she has a flower is there anyone that pick, is picking a mushroom hmm we both with Hannah are a little bit sniffy Hannah was first she has mushrooms here Hannah was first and then but like while picking okay while picking I'll do that okay thank you bye, bye. thanks oh, for the I idea yeah, it used to be in your studio, do you remember? Okay, we both are sniffy a little bit. I'm not feeling my greatest. And to be honest, I I figured I need to, bye, I need to get back to studio before I'm gonna feel even worse. And definitely I won't be able to make any video for you. So here I am and I really hope to be able to um, finish this canvas base and continue with the next on the next video with the actual oh I love it with the actual project on it so let, oh that fits so lovely and you know what I don't think it's that important to have it um, I wonder if we need this to be even higher but it's not important for you to focus your energy on on making this so very well measured guys quite opposite like it's okay if things are not okay it's okay if things are not straight or they are too straight I think taking off from your shoulders taking off the big expectations about your your project and the, the, this is taking off it from your own expectations I think that's very refreshing as well so focus in energy on the actual process rather than um, the final piece and rather than thinking that it has to be measured and and you have to use that you have to draw the line no guys we're gonna put some white gesso on top of that we are going to cover it possibly with either all the book page here or um, maybe one of some of those uh, background the project uh, background the pages possibly so let's glue some elements and I'm just using hot glue gun very hot <laughs> so be very mindful guys of your own hands I think it's the easiest way honestly to use the hot glue gun I really don't mind that because oh because be careful I just touched it with my 
with my own sometimes it helps well obviously to have a cold water next to you but sometimes it helps to just quickly smush it if you if there's any hot glue gun going it sometimes smush it in may be actually very helpful now because I don't know the I'm just gonna you probably don't need that but I'm just gonna add this one tiny bit here I guess I waited very long with my hot glue and it's extremely hot so be careful of that guys now let's do this one after another so basically the idea is to glue down all the sides and to probably go up a few layers maybe like two I think I'm gonna go for three for sure and then I'll see if I need more if 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 yeah if I need more so I'm gonna go for that one uh, I like this to be more dimensional so I would say yes I'm gonna go for extra extra higher level now I love the idea of it I never did a shadow box from cardboard honestly I never have and I love the idea because I think we all have cardboards right so it's good because we can really use what we have around finally <laughs> a way to use our cardboards we all get parcels packages daily I'm sure and using that would be so fantastic okay so that's that mm, I do think <laughs> I do think now if I'm in somehow sneezy feeling to you that I'm like you know uh, I'm sorry because I can only sense it that I'm gonna be sick so if 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 you don't enjoy me chatting with the blocked nose I'm sorry about that but I figured it's the last actual chance for me to be here because I may not be able to do that tomorrow or the next day and I have promised to be back to studio once I sort a few things online uh, on the computer and that happened so I was like I'm going in <laughs> I'm going in I'm going in and here I am and I had this um, particular or um, particular project in mind for a very long time actually I really really wanted to have it now have a look how I placed the cardboard I'm trying to cover the um, the pieces the elements so that so that um, Oh, that works better so that I'm making sure that it kind of is working uh, covered up and I may be actually making no sense today so forgive me for that because when someone is slightly starting to feel off weather they don't make sense a lot of times so that could be me today so please forgive me that I think I'm gonna slighten it this like tiny a little bit because it was just a bit too too thick too big when I say it doesn't have to be perfect I still mean it but make this somehow <laughs> workable and doable and prettable and yes I guess that's what I wanted to say so I'm gonna just chop this here as well and let me grab the hot glue for this one so we have layer number two already which works fantastic I'm gonna just probably add this one here uh-huh I love this I love this now finally we have the project that seriously everyone can really participate and do so I really hope you will try that and make your own shadow box because it's a fun thing I love making uh, reverse canvases and my beautiful friend Aida she said Marta <laughs> I'm waiting for some canvas work for reverse canvas to be specific so yes I thought it's a good idea uh, and I love these projects and autumn is so perfect whoopsie 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 that landed perfectly <laughs> now you don't need to fill in all those gaps but if you want to that's fine so we have two and look at it I honestly think it feels really beautiful and once we will cover it up cover this all up with some papers or whatever we're gonna be covering this up it's going to be super maybe music notes maybe something else uh, let's finish and I have a bracelet from Hannah and I have my autumn sweater yet again from my mommy-in-law after my mommy-in-law I should say I'm sure she would like me to keep it <laughs> so I have it and I think when I have it I'm thinking autumn 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 
very much so. I think I'm gonna jump in for more papers. More walls, I should say. So I'm sniffy, Hannah is sniffing. Hannah started it, so my guess is that she brought that to me. <laughs> that usually happens because the cuddles are always there, even when the sickness is, the cuddles never stops in this house. So that could be the reason why, <laughs> why it is what it is. But then I was like, that's fine. If I'm gonna be like, um, totally out of my feet, not able to do anything. I'm gonna jump in at the laptop actually and finish off the books. So how bad? Because laptop work can be done when you are just have no energy. You can have a blanket and you can just do these. So I think I may do that actually. <laughs> uh, laptop work. So finishing books would be fantastic. And I'm very close to it, to finishing them, and I'm so excited about it. I hope you are as excited as I am. Still a few more times to wait, because... Oh, it takes time, it really does, in between everything that's what's going on. Uh-huh. Now. It takes time, everything take, takes time, right? <coughs> I think this is good. So I'm gonna finish this cardboardy box now with you. Maybe we're gonna do a little bit of, I think, music notes on top. And then come back to me maybe a day or two. And I'm gonna have the final project with that canvas. So make sure to check my channel for that. Because I may forget to link it at all. But check it out. We're gonna do autumn. I think we're gonna do the lovely scenery. We're gonna do the the woodland feel, of course, because I love woodland. So that would be the best possibly. Now one second. I think I need to redo that cardboardy bit. Yeah. Oops. Hannah is a singer of the year. <laughs> like all she does these days, it's sing and sing every day sing and sing she was off the whole weekend and then Monday she stayed home so you can only imagine working from home when when there is someone around and then now she went to back to school today but then I felt like oh, so yeah hopefully Lucas is gonna be fine <laughs> So here is the shadow box, which looks fantastic, I think. You can add more layers around it if you wish your walls to be a bit thicker, but I think I'm happy with this one. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I decorate it. I'm gonna use our autumn stories book and I'm gonna make some beautiful autumn center, which I think is going to be fantastic. See you in the next video, friends. Here is the shadow box that we created together from the cardboard and this is the project we will be making in the next video. So please check my channel, subscribe if you haven't yet so you won't miss any new videos, you'll be notified about everything. Bye-bye.